Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And what we're going to take a look at today is third down. Now, we know over the past couple of weeks, uh, we've had an issue with getting guys off the field defensively on third down. This past Sunday, the Broncos had 14 third down opportunities. They did not convert eight of them. So we did a great job of keeping them under 50% uh, in third down situations. And I wanted to take a look take a look at the plays that they did not convert and see what we did good and maybe what we got away with <laughs> in some instances because I, I saw the messages about if, if, if. But let's take a look at the third down conversions. Well, the lack of third down conversions that the um, Denver Broncos had versus the Baltimore Ravens. And I, I just want to look at the defensive side because I really think they played a lot better than they did the week before. And when I'm, I'm on that case when they play bad, I want to be on the good side when they do good. So let's take a look at what they did good versus the uh, Denver Broncos here Sunday. All right, welcome back, and I appreciate you guys for coming back. Um, if this is your first time here, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. So you'll be here when the rest of all this content drops throughout the 2024 season. The second half of the season should be a good one. Should be a good one. So make sure you tune in for all this content that I'm going to bring you. But let's get on into the film. And we're going to start with uh, this first third down. This is third and short. It's third and one. They're trying to QB sneak it. And even though they get good push, they don't get the first down. And when you look at it, Matt BK gets blowed off a little bit. Brandon don't don't move enough. So I'm trying to see like who actually made the play. And when I figured it out, it's Owe and uh, Kyle Van Oa. They basically got him got him down on the ground before his momentum took him past the first down marker. Because the two guys in the middle kind of get stood up. But then you see Van Oa knife in. You see Owe knife in on 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 uh the tackles, and they kind of get him down before he gets to the yard marker. It's probably the first play all the way to made in a minute, I think. But good job of stopping them on third and one. <laughs> Anytime you stop a tush push, that's a good thing. Because they are extremely, extremely hard to stop. And look at this situation. I gotta zoom out so I can tell you the situation. So it's third. It's third and about nine. Third and nine. Third and nine. So we're going to get one of our sim pressures. And what I mean by that is, you're going to see Marlette's going to loop in and come. And you're going to see Owe going to drop out. So you're trying to bring more to this top side than on the bottom side because Owe's going to drop out and try to cover. Tim bringing it down. You see Marlette's acting like he's covering 16, but he's going. So we're bringing four, four to a side. And actually... If Vanoy stays outside, this should be better. I don't know why Vanoy went inside on this. If Vanoy stays outside, oh, that's a skill guy. That's why. So if Vanoy can kind of loop on the outside and keep that outside shoulder free and let Marlette come through because the, the back don't block him. The back don't block him at all. And we force him out of the pocket. Great spin move. Great spin move. Downfield, the protection's good. And what I like about Owe is when he dropped, he didn't just drop over here and guard grass. He He's getting up under some stuff because all the action's over here. Now, if this guy break out, that's different. That's on Brandon Stevens. But he ain't just stand over here and guard grass. So I do like that part about Owe's drop. And he, we forced him to drop it off because everything deep was covered. And you just rally and make the tackle. Rally and make the tackle. You got to play the situations too. Got to play the situations as well. Now, I will say this. This play right here, people's like, we got away with one. We got away with one. Maybe we did. We did get away with one because he missed them. But the refs missed a, a clear pick too. Let me show you. The refs missed a clear pick. Watch 82 and how he bangs on Marlon. I'm going to see if I can keep it on 82. The tight end. Watch him. He's just going to throw a full arm shiver into Marlon and, and pick him from getting to the guy that was wide open. Here come right here. Watch him fold his four. I'm sure on Marlon. Damn. 
That's the pick right there. You see 84 starting to starting to get by. 84 is the one that's gonna come wide open. Because Marlette's chasing 17. Who he's supposed to have. Marlette got the other guy, and you see him getting through it. And the guy, Marlo got picked off. Now, are we lucky for him missing that? Yes. We also can't say we lucky these because you got pressure. You're getting pressure on a guy that makes the throw harder. Look all way in his face right now. That makes the throw harder. So people saying, luckily we playing Bo, Bo Nix. We don't know if anybody could, you know, I'm sure some people would hit that throw, but you get immediate pressure. You come out your fake and you get pressure right now. So now you got to flip your shoulders and try to make an accurate throw. That's tough to do. He throwing fading back with a guy in his face because of the pressure. So did we get lucky? No, we just put pressure on the quarterback to, make, to have to make a play. And he couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. it I mean, it should have been OPI. That's what it should have been. Go to this next one. They just he just missed on this one. I like I like where Brandon Stevens is, and the only place this ball could have been caught, in my opinion, without Brandon Stevens contesting it, is right there at that pylon. Everything else, I think he's in good position. Now, does he look back for the ball, which is one of the, the things we talk about Brandon not doing? Nope, never looks back. Even on incompletions, he never looks back. Trying to play the hands, he never looks back. So we can't say he don't look back on, you know, completed passes. This is incomplete. He still never looked back. He's trying to play the eyes and the hand of the, of the um, receiver. So all I can say is at least he's consistent. At least he's consistent with what he's trying to do. That's all I can say. But incomplete right there for them. We'll take it. Plan some man coverage. Great man coverage. Everybody's sticky. Plan some cover one. Your rovers, your free guy. It's right there. I think that's Malik. <laughs> I think that's Malik. And then back here is, um, I think this is more because those are your free guys playing cover one. Everybody else locked up. And you got four guys rushing the QB. So great coverage. Sticky everywhere. Sticky everywhere. Tavis gets one of his acts. Tavius coming off his end with the tackle, with the left, right tackle. He just stay with it. Like I said, he don't really give him a move. He just stay with it. He just stay with it. He play with relentless effort. And eventually he wins late. And Bo still got the ball. And you, you go down. One of Tavius' two sacks. I get another sim pressure. Started with my lead at the line. He gonna drop out. Oh, wrong thing. He gonna drop out. And if I'm not mistaken, Kyle's going to come, and maybe even Trent. Maybe. Let's let's see. Yeah, both of them come. Oh, your extra guy dropping out is row. Okay, so my lead's gonna drop out. And Rose gonna drop out, and everybody else coming. Everybody else coming. Basically bringing five to a side. For the most part, I'm assuming this nose is gonna come on this right side. I'm assuming. Yeah, Matt Bika across his face. Tavians takes the next gap. Trent runs into the guard. Always outside. The back picks up Kyle. So they pick it up. They pick it up. Trent get free late. So Trent has a clean shot at, um, well, a clear path to the QB. And everything else covered other than his underneath route. Everything else is covered other than his underneath route that's in Bo's eyesight because he's looking to the top side. You know, this curl maybe is open from Sutton with Wiggins down there guarding him, but he's not looking there. So he tries to fit this ball in between three, three people and makes a kind of inaccurate throw. He does lead him away from the defender. But the receiver don't anticipate it. So it's a good job of getting him off the field. Good job of getting him off the field. And I like, I like where Marlette is. Marlette's underneath this curl. But if you throw this to the to the, the this guy in the flat, there's an opportunity to go make the tackle before he can touch that. Me the first down. 
So I like where Moletti is on the dip. I like where Kyle Van Oli, Van Oli is on his dip. Dip. Playing, playing the first down marker. Playing the first down marker. So it looked like we got, you know, better drops and awareness of where the first down is and what kind of routes they're trying to run up under us. This is third and short, extremely short. Playing man. And they trying to run picks again. Look at number 20, trying to pick Roquan. Runs right into him. A I mean, oh, that's Malik. Trying to pick Malik. Malik does a good job of just punching him in the face. Pow. Malik probably can't do a lot, but he damn sure can be physical. Bye, y'all. Punches him in the face. And so with Malik, you know, taking that underneath stuff, these two guys in the middle are null and void. And Noah in great position. Is that on sudden? Calvin Noah out here in the flash garden sudden. They best receiver. Let's see. Who's this? Marlowe. In good position. I look at Brandon Stevens avoiding that traffic. That's who they're supposed to pick. Because you see this dude right here. He trying to hit Brandon right now. Brandon was the guy they, was, they wanted to pick. Stevens does a great job of avoiding. Look at him right in the hip pocket. So we get on Brandon Stevens' case about getting caught on, and he got caught on a lot. But in this play right here, he right where he needs to be. He right where he needs to be. Avoided that pick, and he right on third A's tail. Great job of team defense right here in the red zone. Great job. Trenton, come up. Make an open field tackle. Boy, it's sack. Then here's the last one right here. In the red zone again. And by this time, they just like, forget it. This game about over with. They just handed it off and we stopped them because it was third and goal from like the nine. So <laughs> we did a lot better job getting guys off the field uh, in this game than we had done in the past. And it showed up on the scoreboard. 41-10. to 10. So great job defense of, of getting better. And hopefully we'll continue to get better week to week to week. And hopefully it's the start of the defense starting to trend upward. And, you know, start doing some of the things that the offense, offense is doing on their side of the ball. So I appreciate you guys for coming out, man. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. So like, comment, subscribe, share. And remember the motto is FTMF. Film, damn more film. This is where the film lies. Peace and love. See y'all in the next one.